My name is Jeffrey Frankel and in this series of YouTube videos I will show you techniques and tips to reduce the time it takes to deal with questions in Paper 1 of the IB Chemistry exam at both standard level and higher level. This is one of those questions where the examiner gives you a lot of numbers, a lot of data, and you're led to do a calculation. Now, you can do the calculation if you want to. However, if you look clearly at it, you can see that you're being asked whether this reaction is spontaneous or not. And it's a matter of simple chemistry. No magnesium oxide does react with water to give magnesium hydroxide. It's one of those aspects of chemistry that you're expected to have loved. The oxides of sodium, potassium and lithium react with water to give hydroxides and the oxides of magnesium and calcium and barium react with water to give hydroxides. So we know this reaction is spontaneous and therefore we know that delta G is going to be negative. And if you look through this, you will see that the only one that is possible is C. The reaction is spontaneous and delta G is negative. Without doing the calculation, you know that the answer is C. Now, for those of you who do do the calculation, let's show you that the calculation is delta G equals that's the delta G for this reaction, let's put reaction there, equals the sum of the delta G for the formation, that's the delta G formation, and they are all standards, and so maybe put the standard sign in, of the products, first the products, minus sum of the delta G formation, standard reactants. And then when you put the data in, that equals minus 834. The product is magnesium hydroxide, and the number is minus 834. And then it's minus whatever comes in the bracket, which is magnesium oxide minus 570. And then there's water at minus 237, 237, and that equals, well, minus 834. What you can now do is convert all of these to positive numbers. Uh, 570 plus 237, a matter of simple mathematics, and that equals minus 834 plus 807 equals minus 27, which is what we wanted. And these are the units, K, J, moles, minus 1. Now, if this was a paper 2 question, you'd probably go through all of this and you'd get 2 or 3 marks for that question, including the units. However, this is a paper 1 question, and strictly it's not necessary. You need a little bit of knowledge of chemistry that magnesium oxide does react with water to give magnesium hydroxide. Therefore, it's spontaneous, and you know that for delta G to indicate spontaneity, it must be negative. And C is the answer. If I had only five seconds to do this one, I would come for B. And the reason I say that is because both this number and that number are the same, and the only difference is the sign. And I think the examiner's assuming that somebody might get the number right, but might make a mistake in the sign. However, I know that this is a spontaneous reaction. Therefore, I know that delta G is negative, and therefore I am plumping for this. As I said, if I had only five seconds, I would plump for that one. But let's do the calculation and see if I'm right. So the calculation is based around the delta G reaction, the standard. It's not necessary to write all this down because in paper one 
you can only get one lot. If this were paper two, that's different. You do write everything down in paper two because you can you can get three or so maybe four marks. So product. So it's the sum of delta G formation for the product minus the sum of delta G formation for the reactant. Product. Okay, so we look at the product, it's carbon dioxide and water. So that equals the sum of 2 times minus 394 plus 3 times minus 2, 2, 9 is for water, and minus the sum of, put in brackets, of ethanol, which is minus 175 plus oxygen, which they say is zero. And so this equals minus 788 minus 687 plus 175. And this equals minus 1475 plus 1. Seven five, which equals minus one three is minus what thirteen hundred. If I only had five seconds, I would do that because the examiners are checking whether you see the difference between a positive sign and a negative sign. If you've got the time, you do the calculation. If you don't need to write it all down, you don't need to write it all down. If you can do this one and get that sign right, because at this point you. Getting, you're adding up the numbers and getting minus 1475 plus 175 and you might get a little bit confused with these negative signs because for some people it can be difficult getting the signs right and dealing with the numbers correctly. However, the final answer is minus 1300B. If you found this YouTube video helpful, then please say you like it and subscribe to my channel and look at my other YouTube videos. Thank you.